Hello, I'm Jamie. I am the mom behind Hands On As We Grow and I just wanted to let you get to know me a little bit um, so you know where I'm coming from. First of all, uh, I'm a mom to three amazing boys. Uh, you'll get to know them with our activities. There's Henry, George, and Lewis. And that's it. That's my founding knowledge behind Hands On As We Grow is my experience of raising my three amazing boys. Um, and they're really active boys, so you'll see that in our activities that I share. I, however, am not a teacher. I don't have a teaching degree or a teaching background of any sort, so I am not an early childhood expert. And because I'm not an early child expert, I try to instead keep it very real um, as to why something works or, or why something didn't work most often, or what I would have done differently, or how it works for us. I can't really give you though the whys and hows, um, and how like why you should do a certain activity because it. I, I mean, I've gathered information um, in my years of being a mom and of sharing these activities um, in the last several years. So I kind of know the whys and hows, but I can't really go deep into it. So I don't share that too often. But yeah, so that's me. I'm. A mom of three boys oh which that reminds me you may see things where I say these are for my boys or this would be great for the boys and that's because I have three boys I don't have any girls so it just kind of rolls off my tongue that way so it might look like I'm gender profiling sometimes and I'm not because I know there are girls that are fully capable of doing the same thing that my boys are doing and my boys are doing the same thing they are so don't ever take anything I say like that to be gender profiling got it all right anyway that's me I'm just a mom I want you to join me and have some fun with the activities. Oh, that's another thing. <laughs> I keep remembering things. Uh, I want you to treat our activities with trial and error. They're not always going to work for your kids, they, and they're not always going to work every time with your kids. And so if an activity doesn't work this time, try it in a couple days. Try it a slightly different way, or wait for your child to be in a different mood, or that you're in a different mood. It's a there's so many factors that go into whether an activity is a success or not that I don't want you to say, oh, that didn't work, that wasn't a good activity, because it just depends on so many things. And what the biggest thing I want you to remember is to go with an open mind, go with an open-ended result. Don't think it has to be done a certain way or it has to be done the same way we did it because what really matters is that you're having fun with your kids because that's what doing an activity is all about, right? Having fun, creating memories, and making a childhood that your kids are going to remember, right? So just keep that in the forefront of your mind when you're doing these activities. Don't think about the end result as much. Got it? All right. Have a good day.